Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Here we are in my local park, but in a moment we're going to go into my mum's garden and you can choose a different flower. So everybody gets a different flower. So group number one, you could choose this fresh green bud that is about to bloom. Group number two, you could choose this beautiful hydrangea flower. Or group number three, you can choose these beautiful pink roses. So make your choice and I will see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one, so that is you chose the green bud that is about to bloom, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards we're going to draw through for you. Now, I think the topic that we're going to do today is something about past patterns or past karma or past lives, something like that. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I think we're going to look at, let's decide now. What past pattern is repeating in your life now? Let's take a look at that as a topic. The reason I want to look at the past is because in group two last week, I mentioned something about how I don't, well, how I do believe in past lives, but I'm doubtful. And I just wanted to say, I totally believe in past lives. Of course I do. I'm Indian. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I believe in past lives. but. Uh, where I'm wary is how it's used in things like twin flame and soulmate and things like that and the potential for that to be manipulated. So that's where I am on that, guys. I, I don't want to be misleading or say, oh, I, I don't believe in past lives when I actually very much do. But I understand, you know, the whole potential for that to be manipulated and I think for me it, a lot of uh, all of that thinking really cracked open when I studied the narcissist empath dynamic in a lot of depth in 2016. Okay so let's take two of these I just want to make sure they're upright yes they are and and then we've got some guidance that will come from the jar as well. So let's see what we've got in this group. Okay, where do we start? I think we'll start right from the beginning. The first one that I drew. All right, boundaries. Wow. Okay, number one. You've got to look out for you. Okay, number one. Aries energy. You've got to look out for you and You've got to draw some boundaries and I think he is holding a sword. Yes, he is. We've got a dog barking in the background. Don't know if you can hear that. But the sword is representative of thought energy in tarot and thought energy speaking. You know, maybe you have to speak up. Maybe you have to draw some boundaries at this time. And I mean, we do have Christmas coming, you know, like we've got this time coming where we're with family who may not agree with us and things like that, or they might not respect your way of being or, or how you think or whatever that is. All right, strength. Yeah, there we go. Number one again. Wow. Pretty clear message coming through straight away. And we've got red, Mars, really strong energies on the table here. Patience. Yeah. Green corn moon. How beautiful. Patience. Okay, let's see what Saturn has to say. These could be reversed. All right, so we've got the king of pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Cups, upright, beautiful. These should be all upright, actually. Okay, Ten of Wands, burden. 
Yeah. So what I'm seeing here is really quite good. It's nice energy. I think things are just asking you to stay strong, to look out for yourself at this time, to have patience with this situation that you're in. Now, what is this situation? This situation is you're working incredibly hard, okay? And you're on the final stretch of something. You're coming up to completing on something, but this card really can indicate exhaustion and burnout. So if you're able to take time out, that's going to be essential for you. I think you deep inside of you probably got, you're probably filled with enthusiasm or excitement for something. There's something you want to start, want to begin, you know. Maybe you've got a lot of creative ideas as well. Sometimes this can be a card of creativity. There's excitement for, you know, you've got these, these beautiful emotions deep within you you want to express that right so that's beautiful and it can be a card of creativity this knight of cups here and that's how i'm going to read it in this instance the king of pentacles in reverse this is kind of interesting because to me this is indicating that there's something about the world that you have created around you, materially perhaps, but there's something about your world that maybe is linking in with this. There's something about life the way it is that feels burdensome, that might be keeping you stuck actually. There's something about life around you at the moment which is feeling stuck or difficult. Hmm, King of Pentacles in reverse. I think we might, let's get a clarifier on this. See what this is about. Patience is needed. In terms of what past is recurring in your life, I would say it's to do with this. I would say it's to do with that you need to be strong, you need to set boundaries, you need to stand up for yourself, you need to speak up for yourself. There could be a situation where maybe you're being taken advantage of or, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Let's see, let's see if we can get some more information here. Oops. I should shuffle these on camera. <laughs> See what we've got going on and then we'll pick something from the jar and see what's going on through there wow the tower okay gosh well i'm going to want another one now after that <laughs> so perhaps mm, let's get one more it's coming after this tower moment let's take that one it's poking out oh it's two all right let's take them let's take them let's do it Judgment and the Four of Pentacles holding on. Do you know, I kind of think these are this way. After the Tower moment, judgment. Uh, judgment, yeah, and holding on. Maybe, I think, do you know what I think? I think this Tower moment is, contains some judgment. And then you're holding on. Okay, what are you holding on to? I'm curious. <sighs> and I'm being greedy. And I think Saturn knows it. This is my Saturn deck. Because this is long, slow term stuff. Do you know the devil in reverse? This is a good card in reverse. You are coming up for a healing, but Again, we've got, we've got a lot of pentacles here and I, I feel like it's, you're up for a healing, but you're going to need patience. Nothing here is a quick fix. Things are really going to take time. 
See, and I've needed to get quite a few extra cards to get even just a little bit of information. I normally don't have to take this many. So that is information in itself. The fact that I've had to kind of take quite a few cards. And we're, you are coming up to a healing. I'll tell you that for sure. But there's something about it that's taking time. I mean, what you want is you want to be able to do this. You want to be able to be creative. You want to be able to express your true self, to enjoy life, to flow. You want water. You want a lot of fire and earth here. A lot of major arcana as well. You're going through something really big, group number one. You're just going to have to keep being strong and keep being patient. I'm not sure what this situation is, but yeah, it's, um, can't be easy. Let's take two. And anything left over, I'll put it on Instagram. Okay, let's have a look and see what is in here. A quiet Sunday night at home spent counting my blessings equals life is good. Therapy and more. Yeah, I found this on Instagram. I love this. To me, that is a beautiful Sunday night. Absolutely. And you really need exactly this. This is going to be your therapy because you have been working so hard. It kind of seems like all you do lately is work. And you know there's more to life. You want to enjoy. But yeah, you're having you're having to to work. And I, I kind of feel like if we're looking at the past recurring, to me, yeah, this is interesting. What I was saying earlier was I feel like the way that life has been set up around you or it is something to do with your past in a material sense that you're not, I've had the word resenting come in my mind now. I, don't, I feel like that's really strong. I don't know if you're resenting that, but you are, you're going to need a lot of change. You, you are going to need change. Yeah, and I keep getting time consuming. It's going to take time. Okay, let's see what the next one is we have any more clues here but I, also, I feel like I think you're definitely going to get some time out this Christmas right okay it says here maturity is not a matter of age you have matured when you are no longer concerned with showing how clever you are and give your full attention to getting the job done right many never reach that stage no matter how old they get Thomas Sowell yeah I like this quote I think that's really cool and this, to me, is talking about this, this King of Pentacles in reverse. This has to do with the way your material life is set up around you. There's something that's not satisfying about it, or there's something that is restricting you or keeping you stuck or is heavy, perhaps. There is a heaviness here. And you are going to get a shift. You are go you're going to have a massive healing. You're going to be free. Look at that. The devil in reverse, the shackles come off. You're going to be free. You're going to be free as a bird. I can tell you, I can promise you that. But I don't know exactly when. Um, we do have pentacle energy here. It's going to take time. You're in some kind of situation that's going to take time. We've got the patience card here. Why don't we take one more? Let's be greedy. <laughs> already been very greedy with the cards okay let's see oh three want to come out no two want to come out but I've latched onto this one so we're having this all right what do we have here group number one number one you got number one twice so cool Alrighty, let's see what have we got here when I was young when I was young, I asked more of people than they could give. Everlasting friendship, endless feeling. Now I know to ask 
less of them than they can give. A straightforward companionship. Albert Camus. Yeah, I love this. And that is, that is this, right? And I think this, this works beautifully here. Perhaps you can look back and see, yeah, that you were um, very, very demanding at one time. Maybe demanding, is that the word? When I was young, I asked more of people than they could give. Now I know to ask less of them. Yeah. Yeah, the simplicity. You want the simplicity. You want the reality. You want the truth. You want the real stuff. And maybe that's a shift that you have here with this Knight of Cups. What you want is changing. And I don't know if you can hear that, but we've got a beautiful kookaburra singing in the background. All right, well, group number one, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a really good holiday season. Take care wherever you are. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. So that means you would have chosen the purple hydrangea flower. And today's topic, we are going to take a look at the past. Is there some past that's recurring in your life? And the reason I want to look at this topic is because last week in group two, I said something about past lives. And I think I said something like, I'm a bit doubtful about past lives. And guys, I just wanted to clarify that. I'm totally not doubtful about past lives. I believe in them 100%. But where I believe there is room for confusion with past lives is in things like twin flame, soulmates, um, the potential for you know, that to be misused is there. And that's where I get a bit dubious um, about the topic. But I totally believe in past lives. Of course I do. Let's take that one. Okay. And as with any of my readings, guys, please take on board what resonates and please discard anything that doesn't resonate. Because these are general readings, not every single message will be exactly for you. So just see what comes. And sometimes it's nice just to sometimes I enjoy watching tarot just because I want to see what the reader is going to do you know they sometimes they lay out all the cards and I'm like how is this reader going to deal with that you know and I, I love seeing the artistry and I like seeing what people choose what avenues they go down and it's pretty amazing some of the things that can come up so sometimes even if I'm in a group that you know perhaps isn't the right thing. I always come away learning something. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we'll start with this one. Oh, how beautiful. Nurture. Oh, I love that. What a scene. Oh, how nice. Oh, I love this so much. I want to be there. Look at the butterflies. And this lovely horse. I love her outfit. Oh, that's wonderful. Nurture and 29, that's 11, that's a master number. That's beautiful. Great way to begin. Okay, communication. Lovely, and this is just like the purple in the flower you chose. So we're clearly dealing with those high level chakras, perhaps six and seven. Communication, yeah, and well, speaking. Okay, that's the fifth, five, six, seven, probably looking at those. Beginnings, how beautiful. We've got a full moon here as well. But look at the greenery. Look at where you're coming from and look at where you're going to. That's incredible. All right, we've got the King of Wands. Yes, this is a great card. Beautiful. Okay, that's the Two of Wands. Lovely. Okay, and we have got the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is good. This is a good card. We'll start here actually because. One time I heard a reader say that, well, this is a healing. That's one of the ways that she interprets a nine of wands in reverse. When this is 
upright you can be quite guarded you're definitely coming to the end of something you've been working extremely hard this can be a bit of a difficult card when it's upright when it's in the reverse I do like the interpretation of this as a healing you are receiving a healing here so something is definitely healing in your world and that's linking in with this nurture card here you do need some time out you do need some time to just be peaceful just be on your own just be doing something creative something that you love to do she's playing music she's playing the flute beautiful so that is going to be good for you at this time we've got beginnings coming here and it's really interesting that this is a timeless reading you can watch this at any time but we do have a new year that's about to begin and I think this new year for you that is coming up I think it is going to feel very different to the year that we're closing out here okay you are walking into greener pastures next year is going to be different it's going to be better for you and it doesn't matter what the astrology reports say about 2022 or what anyone says about 2022 you keep this feeling within that I am moving towards this I try and keep this feeling that I'm moving towards greener pastures like all the time <laughs> doesn't matter what's going on I always try and think I'm always evolving to somewhere better I'm always going somewhere good I'm always excited about where it is that I'm going that's always a good thing to do and I suppose that's having hope isn't it you know and I think you're coming to a time where you're going to get to do what really excites you in terms of your work actually so I would start planning now I would start planning strategizing visualizing and this is very much about work this is about your creativity your self-expression king of wands this is a very you know this is fire this is masculine fire at its best look at this king I mean isn't he just incredible he looks fearless and he looks like he's ready to take on the world and he's looking out to the horizon and it's, it's almost like this was him when he was younger and there's this looking out to the horizon what is it that you want to create he's also got the world in his hands so there's a lot within you that needs to be birthed creatively okay and it's going to require communication so you're going to be publishing your work you're going to be putting yourself out there you're going to be expressing your ideas and this is fire this is and I'm kind of picking up sort of Leo type energy Leo is very Leo, Leo the Sun you're the performer it's all about fire as well so this is important There's something within you that needs to be birthed that needs to be created that's never been done before because it has like it hasn't been done by you sometimes we get into this thing where we think oh why should I publish a book everybody's written that before well you haven't you know there's something unique that you're going to bring to this world no one's ever done it the way you're going to do it right so this is so important this is so important that you value what is within you value your creativity you have to value it first and then the world will value it for sure this is a beautiful reading I feel like you're being given time to rest time to heal I think like you're, yeah you're being given time to rest time to heal and then you're just going to be doing incredible things when the new year opens up or the new time depending on when you're watching this but there's you're walking through you're ready now to walk through 
Oh, and is that an owl up there? It is, I think. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that um, statue there, quite. it looks like an owl to me. And I feel like in this realm, in this time of darkness that you've been in or whatever feels like the winter of your life or these times in your life that have been a bit grey and a bit cold and you've possibly been isolated, that is all fuel for this expression. You're going to make your communications, what you express, your creativity is going to be so rich because you've been to some very interesting places, okay? And you're going to tell everyone here in this green, happy place some incredible stories about where you've been. It's going to be amazing group too. I'm really excited. This is beautiful energy. I don't even have to go for a clarifier. And that's great, right? Because that we're we're quite complete here it, it also indicates there's a lot of love here okay so when there's um, a lot of love energy the vibration of completion is actually a part of love so it's kind of like you don't need to dig for too much information or too many answers you got a lot of good going on here that's great okay well i've picked two i am being greedy let's see <laughs> anything that doesn't get eased we'll go on Instagram is this upright yes it is the future is made up of only one substance and that is the present moment by taking care of the present you are doing everything you can to assure a good future Thich Nhat Hanh I love him he's such a wonderful teacher I've listened to a lot of his beautiful he's done some amazing lectures and things and his meditations are really a real treat. Yeah, I think this matches this reading beautifully because because I think you're going to do exactly this. I think you're going to spend some time nurturing yourself. I think you're going to spend some time strategizing a bit. And by doing that, by planning, by getting ready, you're going to walk through this gate and you just you're just going to be ready. You're just going to be ready to give what you've come to give to the world and don't worry if, if you think oh it's been done before or all that kind of thing get that talk out of your head it hasn't been done if it hasn't been done yet by you the world is missing out honestly we're missing out it's going to be special when you do it because there's something unique about every single person that incarnates here Oh, I love this one. This is great. God is the electricity and human beings are the light bulbs. The bulbs may be infinitely varied in shape, color and brightness. The actual power with which they shine, however, is the same for all. Yogananda. Absolutely. And this is the light, the fire that's within you. The creativity. There's all this fire and light here with this man, right? Look at that. He's ready. He's ready to conquer the world and I believe so are you. And it's just about sharing who you are, your view, your take on things. That's where I was going with the Leo thing. Leo, a part of Leo is that you have to, because like the opposite is this wintry Aquarius, right? We've got Aquarius out here. And then we've got Leo, summer sun in here. And in this Aquarian place, you, you, one of the things is that, and I know I, earlier I did say that you're isolated, but in, in Aquarian energy, you are looking for the approval of peers, you're looking to fit in, you're looking to be part of a group. Whereas here in this sunny Leo place, which is really you know, connecting in here with this King of Wands, fire energy, right? You stand out alone. You have an opinion by yourself. You're Leo the leader. You're fire. You're in charge. You see, you're not looking for the approval of peers. You're not looking for any of that. You're looking to just stand out, be you, shine, say your stuff, 
regardless of what others think around you. And I feel like you're ready to do that. I kind of feel like you embody and you know all of this. Perhaps this reading really has just been confirmation of what you know you need to go out and do. So group number two, go out and do it. That's what this reading is about. Make it happen. And definitely take some time out to nurture yourself. Enjoy the healing energy that is coming for you. But get ready because you're going to be giving, sharing your inner light with the world. So I'm wishing you guys a really beautiful Christmas. Hope you have a good holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three or this time if you chose the pretty pink roses then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards are coming through. Now I think the topic this time is going to be something around the past recurring. I'm just thinking of group number two. I don't know if I went too much into the past recurring there. They seem to have a lot of future stuff but the reason I'm looking at that topic is because I think last week in the pick a card readings I said something about I don't really believe in past no I said I believe in past lives but I'm a bit doubtful and I just wanted to clarify that not that anyone asked me about it but mum and I ended up having a huge conversation about past lives and all this stuff and yeah okay I totally 100% believe in past lives but I just feel like sometimes in certain realms of thought like soul made and twin flame sometimes that can be the whole past life thing can be misused there a little bit and yeah I've got some things to say and some theories about that but uh, I definitely believe in past lives of course I do how could I not but yeah, I, I do see where people can kind of, um, you know, misuse the information there. But anyway, with this reading, I thought we'd see if there's any past something or other that maybe a pattern that's repeating itself or something like that. Let's see if, if that's an avenue for exploration. If it's not, you know, let's see where these cards take us. Sometimes we go down different tangents. And as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Okay, let's take that one. All right, let's see what comes through. Oh, we just had this. Nurture. Okay, well, we're having it again. This is that kind of time. You know, we've got Christmas holidays coming up and... This is such a beautiful card. We've got butterflies, we've got a horse. And this is really interesting. Let's have a look here. Yeah, no, it's like her, her aura is casting this luminous shadow. It's quite beautiful. That's just gorgeous. So it's time to nurture yourself. Oh wow, fear. All right. And do you believe that is Kali Ma? Okay. This is fascinating. There she is. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Protection. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's a beautiful card. Protection. Okay, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Good. Right, we just had this. The Two of Wands. That's amazing. Okay. We've got two cards the same here. That is interesting. Oh wow, the wheel, the wheel of fortune. All right, so things are about to take a turn, guys. This is interesting. And I think, I'm glad this reading is happening close to the holidays. I know it's a timeless reading and you could be watching this any time, but you're definitely being asked to take a bit of time out. And you're definitely being asked to nurture yourself, 
to strategize, to plan ahead, protect yourself as well. And look, we do have Christmas, we have family gatherings, we have things. You might be feeling like, oh gosh, you know, I hope I'm not attacked for my view or, you know, I, I think this way, but half of the family doesn't. And, you know, I know that this is that kind of time where, you know, that some of that stuff uh, is coming up. So what I would say here is just protect yourself. Don't feel the need to to share too much, you know. Um, you, you can you can just do simple things like um, like not go there. <laughs> you know those difficult topics, those sensitive topics. Sometimes that yeah are just a bit challenging. And save your time and love for when you're around people where you can open up. You know. Um, So definitely just don't feel the need, don't feel pressured to, to do anything you don't want to do. Go slow. I always think, yeah, go slow, take your time. And this is, this is a bit of a slow down sort of a card. Even though we've got fire energy here, this is perhaps one of the slower fiery cards in that you're really being asked to contemplate, to strategize, to look ahead, to think ahead. You know, hold the world in your hands and strategize dream up what you would really like a bit of perhaps course correction okay because we do have this card here as well which is asking you to okay yes you've built up this this life around you or this career or this family or this friendship group around you or whatever but stop and assess okay take some time and assess okay do I still want this? Am I still this person? Do I still want to do this with my life? You know, I know I wanted to do it five years ago, but we've had a lot of change in our world. And you know what? I'm actually a bit different now and I want to do something a bit different. Okay, this is, this is going to be a good time for you to stop, assess, strategize, think a bit, feel with your heart as well. And yeah, some fear might come up. You know, um, when there are emotions, sometimes we can just be afraid to feel, you know. And see, I was just talking about here where, you know, you're with the family and maybe some uncomfortable things are being brought up. And I was saying, I guess I was kind of saying you can retreat to your shell. I was looking at things like, in my mind I was looking at things like, yeah, change the topic, things like that. But those are mechanisms where we are actually afraid to feel. Isn't that interesting? And, you know, it's, these are all such fine lines, such fine lines of putting up a boundary, but are you being closed off, you know? And, um, you know, if you're changing the subject, are you in denial or are you pushing people away? Or, you know, are you afraid to feel? Like, look at all these fine lines that we juggle when we're with people, right? There are a lot of fine lines and it's not easy, okay? So that's where I think this is really coming in. Nurture, be kind to yourself, recognize that just about everyone goes through all this tough stuff. We all go through all this tough stuff and there are so many fine lines to navigate and to juggle. And have confidence in yourself, know that you know, you're, you're here watching a pick a card like this. So you're more awake and aware than so many people who don't care to self-reflect, who don't care to sit and contemplate the way you do, right? So in many ways, you're, you're, you're able to lead the way. You're able to kind of show others. Know that you can encounter any situation. You're gonna be fine, okay? And there's no need to be afraid to feel. I think that's what this, why this fear card shows up. Because you are not your emotions. Allow the emotions to come. And all kinds of emotions will come. You know, including anger, rage, frustration, anxiety. We all go through all of these. Perfectly natural. But you are not your emotions. Let them come and go. Don't invest your identity into an emotion or into a thought 
or into a job. You are not your job, right? Remember all the things that you are not. You are not your job. You are not your age. You are not your cultural identity. You are not, these are all limitations, right? You're not your thoughts. You're not your emotions. So don't invest energy in any of those things. And you're free, you're free to be up here strategizing, contemplating, you know, creating, being creative. Because these are wands. This fire energy, you're being creative up here while you're being strategic. It's a kind of Sagittarian type fire, perhaps, if I was to say which of the fires it is. Now we've got the wheel here, so I am actually going to shuffle a little bit more because I want to see what is going on. So when the wheel turns, What's coming for you, group number three? I'm very excited about this. What are we going to get? Okay. Oh, all right, let's take them. That's quite a bit. That's more than I would have wanted, but let's take them. Okay. I'm going to see what kind of order we have. So we've got the nine of wands upright, so that came first. So I think you have been working really hard. And I think you're on the final stretch of something. Okay. Strength in reverse, seven of swords and wow, seven of wands. Okay. All right. So you might have been dealing with some kind of situation that has drained you, group three. It's required you to be extremely strong. Yeah, okay, I see what's going on here. You've had to be really, really strong. We'll, we'll draw a little bit more to, to find out. You might have been dealing with a situation where there has been some deception or somebody's not telling you the truth. And I think this situation has been difficult. It's required you to be strong, but I think it's kind of drained you maybe, made you tired. You've had to defend yourself or you've thought you have to defend yourself. But perhaps if you really contemplate this whole situation, you might find that the situation itself is an illusion, that you actually don't have to sweat it so much or to work so hard or to be defensive either. Um, but again, that, that would depend on your situation. I want to dig a little bit more. I want to know the future here. I want to know, uh, and I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use this one. I want to know, because group three has been working really hard and group three has been dealing with a tough situation. Let's have a look here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, good. You're going to come out just fine. <laughs> All right. Um, you, yes, you've been going through, maybe this has been your past year, I don't know, but you have been dealing with a difficult situation where perhaps you've been dealing with people who aren't telling you the full truth, maybe this has made you a bit defensive, you're in the final stretch of it, you've had to be strong, but look at that, you've had to be so strong, I think, that you might have exhausted yourself, um, but you've got this Queen of Pentacles here, you are going to come out on top. Okay, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be more than just fine. I think you're going to be uh, living the life of your dreams, actually. That's what I see you doing, group number three. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. You're going to be more than fine. Just keep believing, keep dreaming, keep dreaming, keep believing. Keep and rest. Nurture yourself. Take some good time out. And then when the energy you know, the energy will come right again and you'll be able to, um, you know, you'll be able to to be this, to be this, this Queen of Pentacles. That's you. Let's have a look here. What are you afraid of losing when nothing in the world actually belongs to you? Yes, I love this. This is exactly right. This is what I was talking about earlier where I said that I feel like you've had to defend yourself or something. But if you really look at this situation quite deeply, you'll see the illusion of it. And that's what's being discussed here in this quote. The illusion. Look at that. What are you afraid of losing? 
when nothing in the world actually belongs to you. It's all illusion anyway, okay? It's all illusion. Isn't that amazing? So, you know, because when we die, when we cross over, um, do we take any of this with us? No, we don't. You know? And let's have a look at this one. I can tell that this is a short one because the paper is really small. So look at that. You've got these short, lean quotes as well. So that is really interesting. Oh, this is a good one. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but creatures of emotion. Dale Carnegie. Absolutely. And that's what I could see here in this card, which was about fear. Right, being like uh, being afraid to feel, being afraid of our emotions. Okay, and I think maybe, and that's also why this card came up as well. The need for strong boundaries. Also, we've got here um, this defensive card here, the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I think you have been in some situations that have brought up a lot of emotion. Perhaps you've been afraid to feel, which is natural. We all go through that. That's perfect. It takes a look. It's the brave ones who dare to feel, you know, it's the brave ones who do it. So feel, feel away and just don't identify with any of it. And that's how you're going to be safe. Okay. Just don't identify as being the emotion, right? And then we've got this protection card here. Yeah. So I think you've felt the need to protect yourself, but you actually, you actually don't need to. Um, you don't need to protect yourself so much. What you need to do, these two are your best cards, this one, and I do like this Seven of Pentacles. I think that's fantastic as well. Oh, I'm just gonna make a mess. But um, really, these are strong because you're being asked to just strategize, dream that great dream, and then live it. That's what's coming. Oh, for the first time it canceled on me. I think because I, I um, filmed these at a higher resolution, so that's why the film ran out, whatever. But group number three, this has been an amazing reading and I am wishing you all the very best for this Christmas and I'm wishing you get lots of rest and lots of good time off, lots of time to just sleep and do nothing. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.